Hi everyone, this is Sharon with Crafty Acres and today I'm working in my garden. Last night I went, I walked around the garden just surveying things from the weekend because I was gone and that was like Monday night. I was just surveying things trying to get my plan ready for what I was going to do today after work and I wanted to get a lot of planting done of different things but I found out that I have squash bugs. And that can be a real problem in our area. Um, they tend to wipe out plants pretty quickly and they multiply really fast. I've done a lot of research over the past few years to figure out the best methods to get rid of them. And so I'm gonna share some of that here with you. I'm gonna show you um, where I've already taken care of and then we'll show you, um, we'll go through the rest of them. The ones behind me, I still have to go through but the ones um, in front of me, they're all gone through. So let's get started. So these are the ones that I've already gone through and uh, got rid of bad leaves. I've gotten rid of all the squash bugs and the eggs. The plants look real healthy and they do have some zucchini on them. These are the golden variety of zucchini so um, that's what these are and they have spines on them so i'm going to put on a flannel shirt so they don't get all pricked up okay i'm back i've got my flannel shirts on to protect my arms and from all the pricklies on the zucchini plants and so um if you don't know what i'm talking about if you have a lot of zucchini plants um, sometimes when you're reaching in to get to harvest the zucchini you can come out after a while of doing it you can come out and your arms are just a little bit scratched up and it's just the surface scratches they don't bleed or anything but they can make you itch so i'm just i did a bunch earlier and I had just a t-shirt on i started itching and it's like oh yeah go get your flannel shirt and just put it on <laughs> make yourself a little more comfortable for the rest of the evening and um, what I want to show you is, first of all, my supplies that I have. And it's real simple. Here, I'm going to flip you around. So this is what one of the things that I have here is this pail that I got a couple years ago from the dollar store. Let me get a little wider view. It's just about 10 inches tall and it has two handles. It's collapsible a little bit, but it's real easy to pick in. And... I use it for everything. This I've already used with, when I was doing the earlier ones. And it's got some bugs in it already that are dead. You can see them back over in this area. The leaves are floating around in there. That's because they had eggs on them. So we've been hard at work already working on this. And all I have in here is water. So it's two quarts of water to one to two tablespoons of Dawn dish soap and that'll kill the bugs dead and as I'm talking to you I just saw this leaf over here this is some eggs that um, are actually getting ready to um, bust open so we want to take care of them so I'll go ahead and show you how I do that I just Rip that section of the leaf off and it probably squished most of them yep it did and then I put it in the water and what the water is going to do is it's going to coat the eggs with that soap it's going to coat the eggs and they won't be able to hatch and I just go through and I look at every leaf I look at the top it looks pretty good I look at the bottom I see another one they're right there in that V of the plant. So what I'm going to do, and it looks harsh to some people to rip the leaf, but actually hail damage does the same thing. And you just go through, sorry, it's hard to do it with one hand. Go through and get rid of any of them. 
Okay, I just wanted to come back for a second and go over a couple of things that, uh, before we get started going through the rest of them, go over a couple of things that I've learned over the past couple of years. First off, um, there's a theory out there, and there's a couple of theories. One of them is squash bugs tend to, if you squash them, they'll give out, they stink. And then that gives out an alert system for other squash bugs saying, hey, food's here, come here. So it draws more squash bugs in. I used to kill them, but I don't like the smell, so I just throw them in the dish soap. The Dawn dish soap with the water. And why alert more to come if that is true? And then the other thing, um, I hadn't seen any squash bugs, no damage, no eggs, until yesterday. And I'd been pretty well watching and we hadn't harvested anything till Saturday. So yesterday was Monday, Saturday was the day um, when we did our first harvest. There had to have been some squash bugs in and about. My dad harvested the squash and I asked him if he had seen any bug, any eggs. He said he hadn't, he hadn't seen any bugs either. So I'm thinking by the amount that we've killed so far, we probably had some, just didn't see them. But I would imagine over Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, because it was Monday evening when I started seeing all the eggs, that we they probably came in over those few days. Because we had cut a bunch, we had cut like a bushel and a half of squash. So if damage to the leaves sends off a smell that would tell me that cutting fruit off of a plant would send off a smell saying hey I'm a squash plant come eat me squash bugs <laughs> so um I'm thinking that's probably what happened and they were just alerted hey this is where you want to be this is where your food is come here and um, because I really didn't see any before that, and and I was watching pretty closely because once they start, they're horrible. They're horrible to get rid of. But now that I know about the Dawn dish soap and the water, and I've seen it um, work, I'm all I'm ready for them. So let's get back to um, picking and finding the squash bugs. Okay, I found a couple of squash bugs. They're right here on the underneath of this leaf. Oh, if you can see it, there they are. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick them up. They're in my fingers right now. And just, just watch them. There are those two right there. They're kind of moving around. And in a moment, they'll start slowing down and then they'll end up dying. So I just want to kind of let you see, we'll keep an eye on those to see how long it takes for them to stop. But I don't think we need to completely watch this. So I want to pause here and let you know. Okay, now they're completely dead. It's those two right there. And it took about 40 seconds for them to be done. So that's about how long it takes for them to die in the um, solution of water and Dawn dish soap. And it seems kind of cruel, but it's a good thing when you're a vegetable grower and you want to provide food for your family as well as for your... Um, I'm a market garden grower as well as for my garden for my family so we like to make sure we can pr prolong our plants as long as we can okay guys um, it's getting dark it's almost sunset and I have about six more plants to go but I have found squash bugs in all stages um, I just found some nymphs and if you don't know what the nymph is it's the first stage after they've hatched so they're really tiny soft shelled and you can squish them real quick if you find them go ahead and squish them right where they are because they don't give off a smell 
and it's easier um, to just squish them because they aren't real quick. So go ahead and get rid of the nymphs. If you don't know what a nymph looks like, um, you can go on to do a quick Google search and a lot of the extension services will have pictures of the nymphs. Now the life cycle of a squash bug. The squash bugs are, um, they can have several life cycles in a season. So what I mean by that is they can, they winter over in brush in a pile of sticks. They can winter over in leaves, anything like that. So you kind of want to keep, keep, keep all that stuff to a minimum. I've found them in my house before, probably come in at night when we come in. If the light is on outside, um, I found them in our barn, just like in the corner of the barn. So they can hot, winter over wherever they can find that they can go. And then they come out, they emerge in the spring, usually when uh, the weather gets warmer. And then they start to lay their eggs and the eggs hatch in 10 days. So, um, so you want to stay on top of it. I think I've gotten it just about the right time because yes, I've killed a lot of squash bug adults and I've only found a few nymphs. So that's a good thing. And I have done a lot of damage to the plants. One plant got destroyed. My dog come running through, he was excited. So, um, we just went ahead and tore that one out. Now, the leaves that I have um, torn apart to get rid of the eggs, I'm going to come back in tomorrow with the peppermint spray. And I'll show you tomorrow. We'll pick up then. And I'll show you how to put the peppermint spray on the plants. And that'll help disguise them. It's kind of like a companion pan planting without the plant. And so that's going to help to disguise the plants. Um, make it less noticeable for the squash bugs to find them and you just want to keep this rotation of going through them every I would say every three to four days um, just kind of go through your patch look for the eggs look for the adults and eventually you'll break that life cycle I will have to go through my watermelon and let's go look at them they're right here these are my watermelon well these are a few more zucchini. These are green zucchini here. We just planted them last week. That's another way you can go about um, destroying the life cycle is successional planting. So every few weeks, keep planting more and more. And you'll end up having some plants to hopefully either if your ones get destroyed by the squash bugs, then you'll have some coming on all the time. So that's what we do is couple every couple of weeks. Here's a watermelon right here. These are all black, black top mountain. And I'm coming up on the better, more impressive ones. Here's two right here. But this is a perfect time to go through and look at all those squash bugs because once um, I'll pan over here here's my you can tell my zucchini right here here's where the watermelons start and so the um, squash bugs once they're done with the squash will start going to your watermelon to your cucumbers any other vining product any other vine that you have. So I've got quite a few watermelon out here. And then 